It's time for the big event. We need our iPad apps. I'm going to show you how to do it two ways. Once through iTunes, but I have to take into consideration that some people just don't plan to use iTunes. They want to do it from their iPad, and I'm going to show you how to do it that way too. Well, let's start in iTunes. If you're doing it in iTunes, you do not have to have your device synced in. Once you get the apps themselves, you can sync later if you want to. We're going into the iTunes store right here. Now, I've already asked to find them one time, but let me show you kind of how I got here. I went up into search store and typed in Office, and eventually it will say Office for iPad, which is what you want. Go ahead and click. You should see Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Those are the three that we want to work with. They are free. Now remember the difference. If you buy them free without a 365 account, you can use them on your iPad, but you can only use them to read. That's it. I can open a Word document, a PowerPoint document, an Excel document, but I can't do anything to them. I can just look at them. Now these are in-app purchases. Click the button right here and sign in with your super top secret password and Apple ID. And there it goes. You can see it's saying downloading. If I come over here and click this little button right here, I can probably see it right there. It says it's got two minutes remaining, but I think we can speed that up for you. Well, that's two minutes out of my life. I'm never going to get back again, but I do have the program. Now, what I want you to do is download the next two. Now, once you get all three of those downloaded, go back to the library. If you do not have your iPad hooked up, hook it up and go to it. Let's go into summary. Actually, you don't have to do that. Just go ahead and sync down here. Now, the default for new apps is that if it finds one, it automatically will load it onto your iPad. You don't have to do anything. If we had actually downloaded all three instead of just that one, it would have done all three for us and we would be ready to work but let me show you how you do this on the iPad. We are on the iPad. Now your configuration of programs is going to be different than mine. You are looking for this down here, the App Store, wherever you've put it. Now remember, this is a touch screen, so I'm going to tap it and go into the App Store. Now, I've already got them, but you could come up here to the search area and type in Office and eventually get down to Microsoft Office for the iPad. There they are, Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. Now the one that we downloaded says open. Microsoft Word says open, I've already got it. The other two, click free, and go ahead and download them just like we did on iTunes. The difference will be this. The next time you plug your iPad in to iTunes, it's going to say that you have some programs on your iPad that aren't backed up and do you want to do that? That's the only difference. So whether you do it in iTunes or on the iPad, eventually you're going to have all three. Make sure you've got all three downloaded and ready to go.